Hi there. We are in our fourth week of the Delegation 101 video series. And today we are going to talk about who you can hire and who you should look for as a support team or a support system for your business. So in our previous videos, we discussed uh, when you should delegate, how you should delegate, and why you should delegate. And this part of how you should delegate I find is the most exciting for coaches and entrepreneurs because they've really reached the level of understanding the power of delegation, they've gotten everything ready and prepared, and now they're ready to implement and take action. So what do you do next? How do you find a virtual assistant uh, team or a virtual assistant to help you in your business? I get asked this a lot with um, potential calls. They've looked for, the, for a support team and they just, they don't know where to start. So let's figure out what kind of support you're looking for. Is it working with a one solo VA that has her or his own business? Is it working with a support team? So what I encourage is again, looking in the future, not just now, but how are you going to grow and what do you want to grow with you? The benefits of having a solo VA is that uh, they know exactly who's working on their business. The VA can really narrow in and they have you know one person that they're talking to and they know exactly what's going on um, in, in their business. It's just sometimes it's a lot better and more beneficial for an entrepreneur or coach to work with one person and it gives them peace of mind that they know who's actually working on their business and on their tasks. Um, as for a support team, they actually work in different ways. So some support teams have where you work directly with the person that's working on the task. So if a graphic designer is working on something for you, you talk to that graphic designer. If there's a copywriter working on it, you won't talk to that copywriter. Uh, there's also VA teams similar to coaching success systems that have one point of contact. So you have the whole level and foundation of support, yet you only have one point of contact that is helping you manage everything that's going on and um, you don't have to worry about the chaos of taking care of more than one person. It really comes down to how large of a net you want to cast out. So a support team can typically get a lot more done at one time because they're all working in parallel. Again, if you have some design work and you have some copywriting work and you have some email marketing that you need to populate some autoresponders, a team can do all three of those things uh, because each person is doing their own task. On a solo VA, she or he may be skilled to be able to do each one of those things, yet they work on them one at a time, which could take longer and slow the turnaround. So it's really important to um, decide, you know, what does a year from now look like? What do you wish for your business to be? And do you want someone that can grow with you? And is a solo VA someone that can grow with you? or is a support team someone that can grow with you? Uh, it really depends on your vision and where you see your business going. I would use any contacts that you have, um, any contacts in social media, local networking groups, your you know contacts in your email, relationships that you have with other business owners, see what they're doing, who they know, and just reach out and see if they have any tips or anyone that they would recommend. Simply making a post on social media will really get the activity going and I can guarantee that there are going to be a ton of comments um, and you're going to get a ton of responses and options for uh, reaching out to a virtual assistant or a virtual assistant team. The last part is do your research. I would uh, go through and all the prospects that you have and the ideas that you've been given, go and research them. Look at their websites, look at their social media, look at their engagement. Just really get a feel for who they are as much as you can um, online. And then if you feel like they may be a good fit and you'd like to talk to them, go ahead and reach out and set an appointment. Fill out their contact form or if they have a pop-up where you can schedule a meeting on their website, go ahead and do that and uh, get started. During your meeting, have prepared questions ready for them and have your prepared list of priorities, letting them know what support that you're going to need right out of the gate. I hope this video has helped you know who to hire in your uh, business so that you can have some more free time and start with the delegation process. 
I am Angie Fisher and I'm the founder of Coaching Success Systems. We are the ultimate provider of support to business, life, and success coaches. We help you delegate more effectively, efficiently, and be productive in your business so you have more time and freedom to do the things that you enjoy.